Welcome to Solo Shop First, and today we're going to be having a look at the um, Yoda figure, uh, one of the more recent releases on the um, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back card. Now, what I've got to say first and foremost, obviously this card is is um, pretty much exactly, I believe, how the original Yoda was um, released back in the 80s. I think the first one, I think, was around about 1980. So an absolutely stunning looking card back on this really the the image obviously is is, tra is sorry is taken straight from the film so lovely lovely image you've got the um, Kenner logo in the bottom right as you look at it the warning logo in the top right and the four plus age group you've got Yoda itself obviously on a yellow name pill which really stands out very nicely with the figure in the bubble also with the yellow background which does make it stand out very very nicely what is obviously nice with this version that you also get is you do appear to get that carry case, um, which you certainly didn't get back in the 80s. And what we'll also do is I do actually have my original figure from back then, which we will have a, a quick look at and comparison, and also another figure of Yoda that I, I actually think is, is also quite a nice sculpt. So um, at the end of the day, this is a stunning looking card back. The one thing obviously that you do have with this is it, it is obviously on a very flimsy card, um, it is that uh, that very, very thin card stock, and I don't know if you can see this or not, but that card is slightly bent in the middle. Um, not that it detracts from the actual look of the card, as I said, the look is actually stunning uh, from the front. So let's have a, a quick look at the back. So this is VC218. Um, you've got the standard lovely Star Wars racetrack on the back, vintage collection logo, all of that legal information obviously on the bottom, and the other figures that were part of this wave. So you've got Bib Fortuna, uh, Ahsoka Tano from Corvus, Bo-Katan Kreese, obviously Yoda himself, uh, Quill, Fennec Shand, the Death Watch Mandalorian, and the 501st Legion Clone Trooper. So not masses to report on the back. We'll have a, a look at the front again, and then we'll get this figure out of the packaging. Okay, so just one further look at the front of the card before we will get this one out. Um, as I said, this is a it is a it's a real shame that this didn't obviously come on the uh, the thicker card stock. Um, other than that, you've got to say it is a lovely, lovely image. As I said, it's pulled straight from um, obviously the, the the film straight when they're doing the training on uh, Dagobah. So let's get this figure out of the packaging, and we will have a look. And then what we'll do is bring in another one, and my original one from back in the eighties. Okay, so here we have the figure out of the packaging, and what I've done is I've just got it, whoops, hang on, sorry. Right, there you go. I've got it on the spinner, as you can see, and now what I've done is actually managed to get the um, the Yoda into, or, or should say, onto a figure stand, which is quite nice. Um, a little bit of a tight fit, but the um, it did sort of push in quite nicely. Um, so that's a bit of a plus. Now I've got to say, through the packaging, um, I was a little bit initially thinking oh, I wasn't quite sure of the look of this figure, but I've, I've got to say, actually, out of this packaging, it does look really, really nice. Um, you know, you've got that sort of soft goods garment that he's wearing, robe, I suppose you can call it, his Jedi robes. Um, they're not weathered in any way, shape or form, but they do appear to have that sort of um, darkish beige colour, which would, uh, you know, indicate being on a swamp, which is quite nice. And it's actually cut pretty well and actually fits the figure very nicely. He's got the, uh, the, the the belt, which I believe is removable. I'm not going to do that, but I'm pretty sure it is. And then he's got this uh, sort of necklace. I don't know if you can see there, just hanging around his neck. And the um, other accessory that comes with this figure is his stick there. But some really nice attention to detail on the face. Actually, let's get him off the spinner and we'll have a look at that quickly. Okay, so as you can see there, I mean... He's, he does have you know, really good features on that face. I don't think it is the best ones that we've actually seen, but um, it does look really, really nice. As I said, you've got that sort of um, necklace that he's wearing um, and actually just quite a, a nice looking figure. Um, the accessories, obviously, as I said, that come with this, you've got that stick there. And then he also does come with that carry case. I'm not going to put that on, but uh, looking at that, it looks like it can just be clipped around Luke Skywalker which is quite nice. And that's just a lot of nice added touch, really, to get that as a bit of a bonus. 
but some nice attention to detail. In terms of the articulation, it's actually this has got surprising articulation um, considering the size of the figure. You've got articulation at the head, you've got articulation at the shoulders, at the elbows. Um, yep, yeah, you've got a twist at the wrist, at the waist, and at the knees. And uh, not sure about the feet, but really good articulation for the size of the figure. Now, one of the other ones that I just wanted to sort of bring in and sort of put alongside it, just to sort of make a comparison. This was one that um, I always thought was a really nice looking figure. And this was one that I think, I'm not sure what year this came out. I think it was part of when they, believe it or not, and I don't like sort of mentioning those words, but, you know, they were doing like The Last Jedi and things like that. Um, and I don't know whether it was part of like the... It was something like a teal, was it the teal wave or something like that? But I just wanted to bring this Yoda in so you could have a look. And I actually think, let me just scroll out there, sorry. I actually think that's a really nice looking figure. Um, a really nice looking figure. Yes, it's just five points of articulation, but you've got some really nice detailing on the head there. And yes, he's got the hard goods. Uh, cape so obviously you know it, it, you don't obviously have it like the soft goods it's not going to move or anything like that but I actually think just an opinion of course this one on the right hand side probably looks a bit better than the vintage collection one um, but again only an opinion now the other thing that I just did want to pop in and show you um, this isn't unfortunately fully complete but I have found my original Yoda the only thing I believe I'm missing with this one is the snake and this one is from 1980. So if we put him alongside, I still do obviously have that cape. I mean, obviously, if you look at them now, the one on the, the 1980s head looks enormous compared to the other two. Um, and the detailing is obviously nowhere near as good as either of those two. However, I think if you can remember, you know, if you think this was obviously made in 1980, that is a, a stunning looking figure. And actually considering its age that's in pretty good condition i did tend to actually look after my figures generally speaking but obviously some got bashed up a bit worse than others but just three examples obviously you've got the the nice new vc218 in the middle I think this one, as I said, was one of those, it was either like a teal wave or an orange wave or something like that. And then obviously this one here is on the left, or as you look at it, is my original one from 1980 from Hong Kong. Anyway, um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the like button. Um, if you're new to the channel and you want to subscribe, please do. There'll be more videos coming shortly. If you've got any questions or any comments, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll come back to you as soon as possible. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.